Well, I'm hiking on this old mining road headed to an abandoned mine. Not much left of the road here in front of me, that's for sure. But uh, having to do some bushwhacking, but nothing too major. But here's looking around the canyon. Would you believe there's an abandoned mine right over there to the left? Right in there? Well, there is. Let's go check it out. Just came through all of that to reach this abandoned mine that you see down there. Well, I'm in this abandoned mine right at the entrance. It's flooded. Looks like it gets more shallow the further in the tunnel goes, but it looks like there's some dry ground there too, but that to me looks like a dead end back there, unless the tunnel makes a T-intersection and goes left to right. I do hear water dripping in the distance, but it sounds a lot further away than if it was dripping right there where my light is. So there may be a turn there at the end to either direction, but um, the water in this mine is not flowing. It's pretty much stagnant because, let me turn around and show you the entrance. Um, I'm standing in front of a huge bat gate. And I think what they tried to do is, I think they tried to dynamite this mine shut by all these boulders you see here in the entrance. But that didn't work, left a gap. So they came in here and installed this bat gate. So uh, I thoroughly checked the gate out. There's no way past it. And uh, the water kind of just pools here and doesn't really have an exit for the most part. I think some of it does trickle out into the canyon that's behind these boulders, but it's pretty much stagnant. So, and I do know that once upon a time, the county rated this abandoned mine as one of the most dangerous uh, in the county. This was back in like 2005. There was a news article about it. There were about eight mines and this was one of them. Um, it's listed as a prospect and that looks like what it might just be. It looks like it dead ends up there. Um, but oh, there's a big drop of water. Hear that? Oh, that's a, I hope, I hope that's a frog. Wow, it's creepy. Okay, well, obviously frogs live in here. But uh, anyway, they, this was one of the most dangerous mines for some reason. I don't know why. Now, I had heard, this was several years ago when I first researched this place, that there is in the floor of this tunnel a really deep shaft going downward, which might be uh, you know, underwater. Maybe that's why they consider this prospect to be so dangerous because of the hole in the floor. Um, but anyway, I don't know where that would be. Maybe where all that dirt is back there. Maybe that's where the, uh, the uh, hole in the floor is, what would have been a vertical shaft. But anyway, it's a no-go on this one, unfortunately. Um, that frog is really being loud. Wow, I wasn't doing that when I first got up here. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna make my way out of here and uh, back up over these rocks. Yeah, if you didn't know this mine was here, um, you, uh, you would miss it coming up here. And this added isn't even marked on the topo maps, believe it or not. So. I don't know why they were so hell-bent on sealing this one up, but I think it's because there's a shaft in the floor. That's what I had heard. Here's one last look. It's always kind of creepy looking down a dark tunnel like that. But I don't hear that frog. So, yeah, I just uh, got my usual old hiking boots and jeans. So I don't use waders or all that stuff, what they call wellies or whatever. Not into that. I just rough it and uh, use the 
boots and jeans I'm wearing. A little bit of water doesn't hurt anybody.